How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get abs for kids very easy. So before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me or you're interested in buying some cool fitness gear, have a look in my description box, you guys. So let's get started. I get a ton of questions from teenagers all the time asking, how do you get your abs? How do you get your abs? If you guys do look, my abs are pretty... Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty muscular. Not a lot of fat on them. Uh, that's just from a lot of time developing the muscle. Just like my biceps, you guys. Just like my um, my back muscles too. So um, I, I will show you guys the true and tried methods that you can use for your ab exercises. Because I hate when people say this expression. They say abs are made in the kitchen. That is 100% incorrect. Um Yes, you got to be lean, but if you're simply just getting lean, you're not going to have abs because abs are a muscle, you guys. There's four muscles in your abs. You got your rectus abdominis, you got your transverse abdominis, you got your internal and external obliques. So you got to train all of them, you guys. And if you're missing out on training one of them, you're not going to have fully developed six packed abs. So let's go over. We're going to train all of them right now. The first exercise that works your lower abs. And uh, what I found out for most people is that they may have the top two. But these bottom two that really come out, um, they'll have a lot of fat here. So they'll they'll really only have the top two. Um, mine are decent. I'm not going to say they're, they're perfect, but you can see some lower ab development. So my best thing for doing these is going to be flutter kicks. Hands down, flutter kicks are a phenomenal exercise. I do have to I do have to change up my variation in my training every six to eight weeks. But I wish, honestly, I could keep flutter kicks in there forever because they're amazing. They're simply amazing. So to do flutter kicks, the key for doing flutter kicks is all you want to do is lay on your back, contract your abs. But when you're performing them, you want to just barely keep your heels off the ground. So just simply going like this, you never want your feet ever to come to the ground because the minute they come to the ground it takes all of the pressure off of here. You want to make sure that it stays tight the whole time and you do that by just levitating it over the ground and never actually touching the ground and all you do is you go like that hands down the best exercise for your lower abs in my opinion yes i'm gonna find some other exercises for you guys and i'll probably change my my stats on this a few times but that exercise has really allowed me to get that full six packed abs so the next exercise that we're going to do is the side plank knee crunch. Now this is going to work your internal and external obliques. Most people do not care about their obliques. I was the same way for a while. You guys, you need to work your obliques so you get that full six pack abs. And so you look crazy shredded from the side. So to do a side plank knee crunch, it's very easy. You just get, I'm actually going to lower this just a little bit for you guys. So all you do is you get in a side plank position. So you're side planking like this, hips off the ground, feet off the ground, don't go like this, that's cheating. Your hips have gotta be raised. Now what you're gonna do is you're simply going to crunch like so. This works your obliques like crazy. I'll only do a few repetitions because the concrete is very hard to maintain. Um, that exercise, you guys wanna get developed obliques, you wanna get pretty crazy obliques basically these muscles you guys do those um phenomenal absolutely phenomenal okay the next exercise we're going to perform is the ab wheel rollout if you guys don't have one of these that's fine you don't need to do the exercise but i do have the ab wheels in my description box so you guys can check that out if you guys want to buy them what i do for my subscribers because i love you guys and i'm really trying to help you guys out is I actually go on Amazon and I try to find the cheapest prices, but the best quality as well. So you guys can find it in the description box. And uh, if you want it, perfect. If not, just skip this exercise. What you can do is if you guys have dumbbells at home, you can use a dumbbell as an ab wheel rollout. I used to do this for the longest time too. So there are other ways to do your ab wheel rollouts. Here's the key with the ab wheel rollout. What you want to do is you kind of want to you don't want to arc your back, but you want to kind of suck in your stomach a little bit. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to make sure you don't put all the pressure on your lower back because watch really carefully when I perform this exercise. What a lot of people do is they'll go right when they start to bend their back and they'll keep going 100% incorrect. 
When your back starts to bend and you start to arc your back, you take all of the pressure off of your abs and you just put that on your lower back and you're not in a good position for your lower back and that's how you guys are gonna get injured. I don't wanna see my subscribers getting injured at all. So really make sure you suck in your stomach a little bit. Just go until when you feel your abs caving out right there, come back. And that's as simple as that. You will be able to go farther as your abs get more developed, you guys. But the minute you feel your abs losing tension, come back don't try to be a hero if you try to be a hero and go all the way out you will injure yourself you may not injure yourself on the first rep might be on the eighth rep the tenth rep or the next workout but you will injure yourself trust me don't want to see you guys get injured ab wheel rollout phenomenal exercise um, when i'm done all of the exercise i will show you guys an additional exercise that you can do for your abs so the next one we're going to do is going to be v-ups V-ups are amazing. So all you do is you go like this and you do your V-up. Sorry, it takes me a little bit of time to progress into the actual V-up itself. I find this exercise a little bit challenging even for me just because of control Nonetheless, absolutely phenomenal exercise. I don't traditionally do the V-up. Um, that's why you guys may have noticed me struggle just a little bit. But I recommend always varying your training exercise. I'm always going to include new workouts in my training program. And I want to give you guys new workouts as well. The reason for that is if you're not swapping your exercises you need variation or you, your muscles will adapt and you won't see new progress. Every six to eight weeks, swap out your ab exercises. Guess what? You're not gonna be perfect at doing your ab exercises. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Simply do your best over time, you will progress. So that will train your upper ab. V abs really hit your upper abs and your lower abs too. The flutter kicks work your lower abs like crazy. So your upper, your lower, your middle abs, all of that's called your rectus abdominis. Uh, we did the side plank knee crunch that worked our external and internal obliques, but we haven't really touched on the transverse abdominus muscle. Now, in order to work this muscle, all you have to do to feel the muscle working is breathe out, exhale. So exhale for like five seconds. So you feel that, you feel that, that muscle contracting, that's your transverse abdominus. It lies right underneath your rectus abdominus. In order to train that muscle, all we have to do is a plank, that's it. You just simply do a plank and you hold that plank. So keep a neutral back, hold the plank, that will train your transverse abdominus. Another way is to do stomach vacuums. So how you perform the stomach vacuum is you lay on your stomach. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna inhale. So take a big inhale, fill your lungs up with air. And then when you blow out, you actually wanna suck your stomach in. So it'll look like this, breathe in. Then when you push the air out, suck your stomach in. As far as possible. And that will train your transverse abdominus as well. The exercises that I listed, the four exercises, I recommend doing them in a circuit fashion, you guys. So try to do them for say 20 seconds, get all the reps, get all the exercises, and then, uh, sorry, do 20 seconds, Get all the exercises when you are done. Do that two to three times, taking a two minute break in between. Once you are done doing that, do that for about a week. Uh, do it every other day, not every single day, every other day. And then add 10 seconds each week. Your ab muscles over two to three, four weeks times will be freaking crazy. Trust me on this. End of video, thank you guys for watching. And again, if you wanna buy the ab wheel rollout, it is in my description box. Follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. And again, I appreciate the support, you guys. Much love. Thanks.